Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, we're going to cover a game-changing feature in Unreal Engine that's going to streamline how you work with blueprints, especially if you're constantly casting to actors, pawns, widgets, and more. Trust me, you're going to want to use this on all your projects. Let's get started. All right, so normally when you're casting to different objects in your game, like your third-person character, you might do it manually each time. You grab your cast node, hook it up to get player character, and maybe even promote it to a variable. It works, but it's not the most efficient way to handle things. So here's where the magic happens, the blueprint function library. This powerful feature within Unreal Engine allows you to create reusable functions that you can call from anywhere in your project. First, find a spot in your content browser, right click, navigate to blueprint, then select blueprint function library. We're going to name ours BFL base. Now open it up and we're ready to roll. With it open, you will see a new function. Let's rename this my character. Next, let's right click and cast our player character. For example, ours is third person character. Next, drag out of object and find get player character. Now add a return node. Drag the reference from your third person character and hook it up to the return node and finally make this function a pure for easy access. Now let's put it to use. Jump into any blueprint or widget. Search for my character. And there you have it. This simple step lets you quickly access all the functions and variables of your character. Let's not stop there. Say you have a widget you use frequently. We'll create a function called create pop-up. Drag R the function and find create widget. Now find your widget class and add it to the widget node. This widget is just an example widget with some variables that have instance editable and expose on spawn checked so we can access them. Drag all of the variables into the beginning of the function. Then drag out the return value of your widget and find add to viewport. Then you can also add another return node and connect the return value of your widget right into the return node. And just like that, you've got a powerful set of tools at your fingertips, ready to make your development process smoother and more efficient. The Blueprint Function Library is a game changer, and I highly recommend giving it a try in your projects. You can, of course, do this with so much more, like data tables, audio, and anything else you find yourself using more than once. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe for more Unreal Engine tips and tricks. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or ideas for future tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.